Hurricane Irma boats toss. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? So guys, like I said, we have to get in by Monday and it's raining and the forecast is for rain every single day until Monday and we need to get this antifoul onto the boat. So we need a stroke of good luck to have a fair weather day. It's not looking good. It's always a struggle, isn't it? What are your thoughts on splashing Monday? I don't know, look at the weather. There's so much to do, but we all working hard, so I still have good hope for Monday. Let's be positive. <laughs> what are you doing right now? I'm about to vacuum all the dog hair off the floor. It has to be ah. done like twice a day, so doing it. Just cleaned out the whole bag in there and uh, almost ripped it, so hopefully it's not broken. Looks like we're getting some Caesar Max sent to the boat. <laughs> What's Caesar Max? It's Canadian. Pomato juice. It's a Canadian drink. It's like a Bloody Mary. You've never had a Caesar? Better. No. Oh man. Oh, they have it for breakfast. It's delicious. It's the best time to have it. Like a Bloody Mary, but different. But better. It's got pickle Why is it better? Juice. Huh? It's got, it doesn't sound advertising, but it's got pickle juice in it. No, oh, it's good. It's real good. So guys, you remember that we went to the Annapolis boat show. So a lady called Megan came up to us and basically just offered us a bunch of total boat products. The agreement with her is to use the stuff and do a review. So this is not a paid promotion. We are just gonna use the products and let you know how it is. So she must be confident to uh, ship the stuff all the way down to Panama and have us review it. This is the anti-fouling. It's called Total Boat Spartan Black. There we go. It's an ablative paint. So this boat takes about five gallons to do two coats of anti-foul and one extra one on the waterline. So three coats along the waterline. One thing she sent are these electric or battery powered fiberglass shears. So I don't know if you guys have cut glass before, but sometimes it's a bit of a mission especially once the scissors start to get a bit blunt. Holy shit. This is 1708 by actual glass, which has the top mat backing on it. This is thick glass. And this is just cutting through it like butter. Holy shit. This is actually depressing because we've <laughs> finished all the fiberglass work. Oh man, we have cut a hundred yards of fiberglass. This would have made life a lot more pleasant. Sperm suits. Great. Roller set. So there you go. Thank you very much, Total Boats and Buckets. I missed anything? Morning everybody. It's anti-fouling day. So anti-foul is what you put on the boat to stop barnacles and stuff growing on it. Boats are made with a gel coat finish, but the problem with gel coat is it's not 100% waterproof. So water can get inside the, the gel coat and cause blisters. So to prevent that from happening, we use what's called a barrier coat. We've got all the anti-fouling off, and the gray is the barrier coat that we're gonna put more barrier coat on top of. So it is gonna be a little bit drizzly this morning. Um, but we need two days. We need one day to get it all done and then another day tomorrow to do where all the, the jack stands are. So it's a two day process. <laughs> it's a two day process. So the first thing that we're going to do is put some plastic sheeting around the whole boat because we don't want any of that rain to 
to hit our antifoul, obviously. The hull has been completely sanded with 80 grit sandpaper. So that's the first preparation stage that we've done. So we're gonna wipe down the whole hull and then we'll be ready to put uh, the first coat of epoxy, epoxy barrier coat. That's gonna work. That was our little trial piece. And how are we feeling this morning? So tired. Get ready for tomorrow or hangover for tomorrow. I don't know yet. But we have to do it. <laughs> the job has to be done. <laughs> Effort this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It's working. We'll see what happens when the rain and the wind comes, though. I just made that roughly, but if you could just tape um, just the stainless steel, yeah? All right. So here it is, the de-waxer and surface prep. So we've got to clean the whole hull with this. So we'll start at the stern and wipe the whole thing down, one person on each hull. Morning. How are you doing? Fabulous. How are we doing today? Oh, too bad. Good. Ready for a splash on Monday. Good idea. Hopefully. Yep, yep. La media es correcto, pero... La media para atrás. Sí, pero acá es arriba. What's that for? Just getting the back edge of the, the water line now. We want them to look even. So, this side looks pretty good. Everything's got a big curve in it, so it's difficult to establish where these lines are. Come here. Good. Okay, girls have almost finished wiping it down, cleaning it with the de-waxer. So first coat is Total Boat, Total Protect, two-part epoxy primer. We're ready, we're about to kick this off. We got two teams of two, one on the inside, one on the outside. Ben and Carlos are just going to start smashing that one out right now. And we're off. Wow. Clean hands. Here on Pile, after a hard morning's work, we like to drink Gatorade. <laughs> got lots of gloves if you guys want gloves. <laughs> All right, that's the first coat done. They gave us a uh, different color um, epoxy so that we can put this on the gray onto the white and really see what we're doing. So that was nice of them. It's dried to the touch, so that's the perfect time to get this next layer on so that it gets a chemical bond. We love a chemical bond around here. Yeah, so, we do. let's go! I'm tender. Buttercup, baby, just to let me down. Second quarter primer's going on. How do you feel about it, Tom? Pretty freaking good, man. Nice shoes. <laughs> Why are they different? Kickstarting the bike or else I'll break my foot. <laughs> That's two coats of epoxy barrier coat, done. Really, really stoked. So now we're just gonna let that cure a little bit more. We wanna be able to touch it without it coming off on our finger. So just a little bit more, maybe half an hour in this heat. And then we're putting the anti-foul on, which is just a single part. Gatorade, mm-mm, delicious. <laughs> 
So we're getting, we're putting um, prop speed, which is a New Zealand company, on the sail drives and the propellers. And the reason being, the anti-foul that we're going to put on the boat has copper in it. And if you put the copper paint on top of the aluminium, it will eat away at the aluminium. It's really bad to do that. And while we're waiting, we're just putting new <laughs> seals inside our sail drives. So these are the old ones. You always wreck them getting them out, but uh, they were really brittle and a bit rusty on the inside and stuff. So really happy I'm doing this. But the key is to get them, get them in square. So we found these bungs which fit perfectly on that outside. We just pop them in there. This one on the inside that holds the oil in goes the opposite way to the one here which holds the water out. Just want to make sure that goes in nice and square. We're not forcing anything. Always using the right tools for the job. <laughs> hey Carlos, what are, we, what are we doing here, mate? What? What are we doing here? Uh, amazing anti fouling blah. <laughs> now, one moment, the pain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? About to whack on the anti -foul. Wow. So pretty. And so it begins. <laughs> Three, two, one, chicken. Yeah. What did you say? Chicken. I knew it was chicken. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Colin? Total Boat gave us black anti -foul and blue anti -foul. And they gave that to both us and Dave. And I think the idea is you put the blue on first. And you put the black on, and when you start to see blue through the black, you know you're getting you're halfway through the life of the anti fell. But then I'm thinking it's gonna look like shit for the next six to six to twelve months before you do it again. So I've just swapped our black with Dave's blue. So he's gonna have a blue hull now, and we're gonna have a black hull, and it's just gonna be one color. What are these for? Here's one, here's three times, two, Actually, two, three I don't times. Know. These plates right here will be going right up the shaft for the propeller and sit right to the hull. Exciting. <laughs> Look how good it looks. It's like a whole new boat. Tom, what's happening? Third coat. Third coat on the water line. T minus 10 minutes and we're done. So, there's five steps. Um, to get this prop speed on, but they guarantee once it's on, you're not gonna have any barnacles on here, which is gonna be incredible for us because this normally loads up with barnacles. We lose speed, efficiency, more drag. It's just terrible. So step number one, which we've already done, but we're gonna do again, is to just sand it with some 80 grit. And we're gonna get right up there, prepare all of this. Obviously, we're not painting the anode. Once it's sanded, That'll be step one, and then there'll be four more steps. Now we're gonna do the prop clean, which is, what are those things? And then straight away, we have to do prop prep, which is this one. While they're doing the prop clean and the prop prep, I'm gonna start mixing the etch primer, which is this yellow stuff here. Look at that. That's what we gotta get. Mix thoroughly all through it. Why are we dancing? Then fouling's finished. Besides, besides the little pads underneath our jack stands. Now he's gonna do it. Lovely. Okay, this is two parts. So this is the hardener. Okay, now we have not a lot of time. Okay, you're gonna start at the top and paint the whole thing. Yeah. And then when you get to the end, you're gonna basically start again and put another okay. coat. It just takes your hands. Just takes three minutes. Pressure. Pressure. I wanna help you. This stuff dries really quickly, so we just decided to double team it. <laughs> okay. This is the final stage. It is the clear coat. The girls are just gonna put one thick coat of clear coat on there, making sure that we don't have any runs or anything. 
and that is actually what stops the barnacles and stuff from growing on it. Very uh, interested to see how this goes. Guys, that was a massive effort. Oh my god, seven crew all just pitching in. We got it all done in one day. Two coats of barrier coat and two coats of anti-foul and an extra coat along the waterline. It looks insane. I'm so happy. This means that we can go in the water on Monday. There's nothing stopping us now. I can't wait to see what this looks like. How sick that looks. We just peeled off all the tape, got rid of all the plastic, and we've just got this perfect black waterline with the anti -fell. It looks unreal. So it's happening, guys. We are splashing tomorrow morning, nine o'clock. Jim, the shipyard manager, is going to be pulling in here with this travel lift. And Pale is finally going to be coming off those four pillars it's been sitting on for almost a year. It's been an absolute roller coaster. But we're here. Transom extensions look unreal. It's just a huge team effort. Can't wait to go sailing and actually enjoy the boat because we haven't enjoyed this boat for about a year and a half now since we found those bulkheads and got struck by lightning, so tomorrow's the day. So excited! So, even though it's an exciting moment for Paralay, going in the water tomorrow, it has been a difficult moment for Sylvia. She's been struggling with the family situation. What happened? Unfortunately, I, uh, I have uh, a bad news from my family, so I have to come back in Italy for a while. And I wish to be here to enjoy this moment. Uh, because I've been living on Parley uh, for nine months, ten months, so actually Parley is my home. It's a, it's a really serious situation because her brother has ended up on life support and we just booked her the next flight home. That's just another one of the realities of living this lifestyle is that we're always away from home so when something like this happens it's pretty hard to uh, be there for your family so <laughs> oh my god, is that our first kiss like that? <laughs> oh yeah, Sylvia's my girlfriend. <laughs> We've been together for a long time. <laughs> We've just decided to keep our relationship a little bit private. That happened. <laughs> to put this in. This just goes straight down the hole and then that arrow points forward. So we've just greased up the through hull a little bit and then it'll just plonk straight in. And she goes. That's it. Okay. They also supply this cap which we're just going to keep down there with it. In case we need to pull that transducer we'll just put the cap over it. Whoa, it's thin. That's what she said. <laughs> this is what we have to do. 
before we go in the water. Oh, I'm gonna pull him off the boat. Guys, we've spent how many hours working in this spot here? Jim! Hey! So now we got this bad boy in here. This thing is, I can't hear a single noise. Uh, we've got something wrapped around the prop. About 10 minutes into our uh, splash. Oh, <laughs> my 